tell the one, tell the one. I want to start saying all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakar Kadash. I want to say double honors to the Apostle Ill's Great Millstone. Peace and mercy be to the Lord's elect out there, teaching word and truth and sincerity. And uh, making anybody's living sacrifice for our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. To you, I say, um, you know, Shalom. You know what I'm saying, man, y'all about to shop protect us in these other days, man. Um, just real quick, man, I just want to get into, you know, hop in the spirit, you know what I'm saying, get into a quick edifying video, Lord willing. And uh, just speak on something that was just on my spirit, man. And, uh, you know, got off work earlier, well, I'd say about a couple hours ago. And, um, I was just thinking to myself, man, like, like Jake is, they, they, you know, they, they, they're gone, man, you know, they're gone, man, you know, they're not going to, uh, how can I put it, they're not going to uh, repent, man, you know, when I say they, I'm speaking of the two-thirds, because we already know they're slated for destruction, you know what I'm saying, because we know the one-third are going to be the ones that's going to come back to you, how about you, Shah? Uh, you know, and acknowledge their offenses and repent and try their hardest to live their life according to the scriptures. While the two thirds, on the other hand, want, are going to do the exact opposite. All right. They're going to write. They're going to live a life basically chasing waterfalls, you know, a chaotic, you know, a sinful life, man. But um, without further ado, man, let me give you to it, man. Man, bro, I can't wait till the Lord fucking destroy this place, man. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 1, verse 2, man. It says, Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth. For the Lord have spoken, I have nourished and brought up children. It says, And they have rebelled against me, man. And this is this is the sentiment of Jake, man. Uh, here it is, y'all, by Shemel Shah created you to be the greatest people on earth. You know what I'm saying? He saved us countless times. You know what I'm saying? And he's still saving us, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, if you were uh, if you were Israelite and you still alive today, you are in decent health and you ain't been uh you know, you ain't homeless or you ain't you know, you got food on your tail, you got daily bread. That, that's the Lord saving your ass every day, cause there's all type of shit that's happening out here, man. But once again, Jake don't you know take that into consideration, man. So y'all bust your mouth shot has nourished us up, nourished our nation. You know what I'm saying? We, we rebelled against them, man. Myself included. In my past life. You know what I'm saying? And before I woke up. Well, before the Lord woke me up. I didn't wake up. But before y'all about to see my woke me up, man. You know, I was being rebellious, man. You know? And then and now when we go off, man, we feel remorseful. But the two-thirds, man, they don't. So guess what? Y'all about to see has got to destroy these people, man. Um, this is verse 3. It says, The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass is master crib. It says, But Israel do if not know, my people do not consider. Yeah, man. Jake don't even consider, man, that they're going off, man. They don't even acknowledge or want to acknowledge that they're sinning against y'all, Bashim Yahshua. Even, even when you do uh, let them know that they're uh, going contrary to their power, you know, they still don't give a damn. So, basically, man, they have. Um, you know they gotta, they gotta be numbered to the sword, man. You know, that's the only thing left for them. You know, quite frankly, <laughs> you know, it, 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 you know, I, I want that to happen, man, because it's the will of the Lord. And on top of that, these people are wicked as fuck. You know what I mean? So what can you do with a, a group of people like that, that don't want to repent? You know, that don't want to acknowledge their offenses and you know just living a, you know, a life where they they're willing to do any and everything. You know, to get to make it in this society, they have no morals, no standards, no guidelines. So it's basically fuck them. You know, so it says the ox know of his owner and the ass is master crib, but Israel uh, do if not know. My people do not consider. And these are two animals, dumb. Well, I'm not gonna say the word dumb because the word dumb means can't speak. You know, I'll, I'll say um, they're not the smartest animals. But anyway, the Lord compared us to uh, those two particular animals, and um. Here it is. Those animals know their, uh, they know their master. You know what I mean? But Jake don't know. Jake don't know their owner, their master. You know what I'm saying? Which is Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. It says a sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, 
It says children that are corrupted. It says they are forsaken. They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel into anger. It says uh, they are gone way backward, man. You know what I'm saying? That's talking about our people, Jake, man. Jake has gone backward, man. Jake has uh, gone. You know they, they 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 you know they basically through, man. You know, like I said, they refuse to listen to the prophets. They refuse to listen to Yahweh Shemuel Shah, and that's what the Lord told Ezekiel. He said, "Look, if they ain't gonna listen to you, they ain't gonna. Li if they ain't gonna listen to me, they, they damn sure ain't gonna listen to you." And he, we can see, we see that, man, firsthand, bro. You know, for the brothers been out there on the forefronts, man, we see that Jake is just gonna refuse to, um, you know, listen. So the only thing that's left for him is this, 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 you know, this, this, this hell that's coming, man. It's Jacob's trouble, man. Um, I ended off on this, man. This is verse five. I had some more, but I just wanna cut it short uh, due to time's sake. Yeah, I'm almost I almost reached my destination. It says, why should you be stricken anymore? He will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. It says, from the sole of the foot, even to the head, there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and pure putrefying sores. It says, they have not been closed, neither bound up, neither fortified with ointment, man. Yep. And uh, you can see, Jake has not been healed, man. Our people have constantly been going through things, catching hell. You know what I'm saying? And nobody, um, you know, basically have no uh, patching up, man. But, um, yeah, man, the whole head is sick, man. So, like I said, the only thing left for them is that second death or, you know, the four sword judgment, man. With that, I'm going to say shalom. Now, Lord willing, I'll bless you. I'll get us out of here soon. Hey, Baba Bull.